It feels great, man. I mean, it feels great. Um, you know, anytime you can win in this league is special, and, and you know that was a good team we had on the other side of us. Um, like you said, we're on a five-game losing streak, so we wanted to shake this funk and um, hopefully finish the season the right way. And you know, that was a start. You know, so it's a good spot to be in. We want to finish this thing. How did you like the way Zach played? I mean, he balled, man. He balled. Um, put it all out there, um, throwing dots in the rain. And um, you know those things. Those things mess with what they were trying to do on offense. You know, as far as what we were trying to do, Zach handled it. And um, you know that's always our goal: handle it better than them. And we did. You know, Zach went crazy today. And you know, like I say, he's got all the faith in us in the world. It's great to see him go out there and just hoop. What does it, it say like about concerted, you know, concerted what, effort to get you the ball? I mean, obviously every week they want to get you the ball, but you know he really went. went you had some pretty good targets today. Out of him, how did that feel for you to get, you know to get into the flow and have over 100 and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, I mean it's good to you know find a rhythm on on offense. Um, all of a sudden, you know when you're in a rhythm like that, everything seems easier. The the easy plays get made. The the ones that are 50-50 balls all of a sudden go your way, and uh, that's just football. You know the rhythm of the game and and how it can go. And I feel like you you might have felt that today. You know I feel like we were making the plays we should have made, and and all of a sudden con you know is going up top on the dude twice. You know and. Um, you know, the takedowns are going for 40, you know, just stuff like that, man, that all plays in that, you know, whenever you get away from playing good offense, you, they kind of disappear. And, uh, you know, when you're in a rhythm, stuff like that starts to happen. And, you know, hopefully we can carry this over next week. It's like, yeah, with a lot of adversity throughout his career. Just talk about what it means to have a performance like this for him. Yeah, man, I mean, he's, he's um, you know, been, been through the ringer here in the city, and, and it's tough, man. They have high expectations, and, um, you know, we all are the same way. You know, Zach's probably put it on himself more than, um, anyone outside of this building or any or outside of uh, you know a Jet fan could put on him, and that's the thing about it. He's always, he's always um, you know put it on himself, man. And when you have that mindset to be the best version of you, because you you're so stressed out about being yourself, um, you know, putting that out to the world and showing the world what you can really do, um, it's always great to see someone you know get to put that on display. Um, it's definitely been you know a tough go for him, and and you know to see him go out there and just ball, man. You know he's finally doing what he deserves. He's what he deserves, man. He puts in the work for it, and. Um, you know that he just gets to play, and that's how it should be. Garrett, on the first on the first um, drive of the second half, the third down play where he found uh, you down, he kind of escaped the rush oh yeah, and found you across the field. Yeah, is that kind of him at his best? Yeah, yeah, man, just playing, just playing, man. He can he can make that throw. I mean, nine, ten times out of ten, which you can't say about a lot of dudes in this league, a lot of people in the world, man. He's really a special talent, and and um, like I said, man, it's all about confidence. He's and he's and he's he's got that. He's got that now, and it's. Um, you know, I'm excited to keep working. I'm going to keep working so I can be open for him. And I know the rest of the receiver group feels the same. You know, we, we believe in him, and, and I know he believes in us, and we're just going to keep building. Garrett, how's the elbow? I mean, that's probably the first time we've really seen that big of a round. Appreciate it. Uh, it's tough, man. You know, it's, it definitely is bothering me. Um, you know, it's a part of my body that, you know, I got to use. So, you know, I know what I'm getting into, and it's going to hurt a little bit after. But, um, yeah, man, I'm doing all right. You know, I can go out there and play, and, you know, I'm blessed. This, this is yeah, this is normal. Usually, I usually I save this for after. I'll go in there after and leave with something like this. But uh, yeah, man, just maintenance in it. You know, try and make sure I'm you know good for next Sunday. Gary, you uh, you guys have talked about feeling like you were letting the defense down in the past. So how did it feel to kind of like repay them a little bit today with thirty points? Yeah, I mean it felt good, man. That's what they deserve. Um, you know, I, like we said a few times, it has been hard to to know that they're you know one of the best in the league and on the you know on the contrary, we're not. And um, you know, this is like I said, this is what they deserve. We want to give them that. Um, I don't know what do you call it. Playing with, with what do you call it when the pitcher go out there when they up run support, run support, right? <laughs> run support. Yeah, you know you give, give them some run support so they don't got to put it all on themselves and, and go out there and play free. Um, and I mean they've been so good all year. I don't think I've ever seen a, a receiver group that you know frustrated and stick. Man, the DJ and Sauce are the best in the in the league, man. And uh, you know watching that and just the energy that we had on that sideline was special today. Did you Is see Stroud? Did you know him very well? Did you see signs of frustration when you were watching him? Um, I just know how he's wired, man. You know, it's it's tough. Um, you know, anytime you you don't you know get to let it loose out there, it's tough, man. So I know how he is. I know how he's wired. I'm sure he is. But um, you know, just praying that he's healthy. Um, so I'm go out of the game there at the end, and and you know, he's a special talent, and all his best days are ahead of him. You know, Care. which is crazy to say because he's been so good. But um, yeah. You For you, a you had a lot of catches with very tight windows. Some of them probably were closed windows, right? So what does it mean to you that, that Zach was trusted you on, on some of those balls, those 50-50 balls? Yeah, man, I mean, it means everything. You know, that's why we put in the work during the week throughout training camp to, to have that level of trust. And, um, you know, we have it with each other. And, and, you know, anytime we get to put it on display, 
um, you know, we're excited for that. And mm -hmm. luckily today we got to put it on display. Is this kind of what you envisioned, you know, as involved as you are, you were today in this offense and with the amount of targets you had and, and what did that feel like for you personally to get out there and have this so much an effect on the game? Um, I, I wouldn't say I... talk about the team stuff, but I mean, yeah. you know, you really, you know, yeah. something. I wouldn't say, you know, I, I envisioned a certain amount of targets or involvement. I, um, you know, I have an expectation for this offense because of the work we put in during the off season and the way it, the way it's played out, and um, you know the way it had played out, and um, you know through those reps and things that we had built, you know I was um, you know part of the part of the mix, you know, and that's how things are, and, and Brees was, and Conklin was, and Ruck, you know, that's just how it is. So all of us were dealing with, the, you know, not maybe it being what we expected because we hadn't played well. Um, that's just how it is, man. You know, you don't get to get to do all those cool things when you're not staying on the field. You know, getting penalties, um, whatever it may be. But, but as far as you know, what I envisioned, I envisioned us winning. Um, that's all. You know, and I want to finish this thing the right way with you know four, three, four. Freeze was three joking wins. After, or a little earlier that you and him have a little thing going about who's the offensive weapon, you know, the best offensive weapon, <laughs> and he voted on himself. Are you hella so. funny for that? Um, yeah, we ain't never talked. Me and Breeze, Breeze got that. I didn't know we had that. Me and Breeze be talking, but now that he said it, I'm a yeah. We don't get it. <laughs> we got a little competition. The competition started now, though. It yeah. starts now. Yeah. yeah. Was, was that as confident as you've seen uh, Zach? As I've seen him? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, it's just when when the plays are flowing and, and you're playing good and uh, it it kind of just works, man. I wouldn't say. It, as far as his aura and the stuff, the way he goes about it, he's been confident. You know, he's been confident, man. He's had that. But uh, it came together today, you know, as far as me doing my job, my teammates doing their job, and, and it came together, you know. And I can't say that, um, you know, he had a different – Zach had a different mindset. No, no, no. He's been going about things the right way. It's just uh, sometimes it comes together, and, and today we were hidden, man. Did you sense that he was having more fun than he usually has? Oh, yeah, for sure. He said that earlier this week, right, and he went lying. You know, he went out there and had fun. I did too. It's fun to score. It's fun to win. You know, that's really what this is. So.